Good day everyone. So we are now in quarter three in the subject Mathematics 6 and I am still Mom Angel, Mom Angelica De Peña, to teach you about new topic for today. Uh, we have for today's lesson about solid figures and its features. And in this lesson, we have our objectives. Number one, we will study and learn about geometrical concepts and describe the things around us. Number two, we will visualize and describe illustrations of different figures and discover the geometry in some objects. And number three, we will also discuss the concepts of different solid figures and its common characteristics. So for today, you must uh, ready your modules or leap for the, your learner's packet that I distributed <coughs> last uh, distribution day. And also, please uh, r uh, make sure that you have your notebook and your ball pen with you so you could uh, write things down as we are discussing it today. Okay, very good. So let us start. This is Tom and it is his mother. Uh, he was asked to clean his bedroom. Can you please clean your bedroom, son? Yes, of course, mom. So Tom went to his bedroom. And as he was cleaning his bedroom, he saw objects. Number one is a traffic cone. Two is his bed. Three are the dices in figurine four is a soccer ball and the last thing that he saw is a coin bank can so as you can see uh, in the pictures what shapes can you recognize from these objects that Tom saw in his bedroom First is a figurine in dice form. What is the shape that you can recognize from this? Very good. Square. How about the traffic cone? Triangle. Good job. How about the soccer ball? Circle. Good job. How about the bed. What is the shape of the bed? Rectangle. Very good. How about the coin bank can? Yes, it is also in the shape of circle. As you can see in its uh, top and on the bottom part of it, it is in the shape of a circle. Okay, let's move on. For today, we will be discussing about plain figures and solid figures. Plain figures are two-dimensional shape. They are flat and they also have length and width. These figures have no thickness. They are called two-dimensional shapes or plane figures because it only has the length and the width while solid figures are three-dimensional shape they have thickness and depth they have also length width and height these figures do not line flat on a plane Space figures are often referred to as solids. The solid figures have three dimensions, length, width, and height, or thickness. So, uh, the solid figures are not flat on a plane. As you can see, 
they have thickness on it okay so let's let us move on to further elaborate what solid figures are so this is an example of a solid figure a solid figure have face vertex and edge so let us first discuss what face is a face is the flat surfaces of a solid figure so this is the face of this solid figure this is also a face and this one also and the one below this is also a face okay so what is a vertex a vertex or uh, the plural of plural of vertex is vertices is a corner that is formed where the ends of the line segments or two or more faces meet so as you can see in the figure this one is a vertex also this one this one this one and this one it is a corner that is formed where the ends of the line seg segments or two or more faces meet okay do not be confused and the last one is the edge the edge is the line segment where two faces meet as you can see this is an edge this is also an edge this one also is an edge this is a, this is a an edge also this one and this one so it is the line segment okay a vertex is like a point the face is a flat surface okay do not be confused with that so let us move on we have different solid figures and we will discuss uh, each one today number one is a sphere so as you can see a sphere in is in a single uh, i mean in a circle shape but it is a solid figure because it has thickness and depth depth in it okay as you can see there is thickness in it but the number of faces and bases is zero because it has no face okay number of edges is also zero because uh, an edge is a line segment right where face meet faces meets but as you can see it has no face so it has uh, it has also no edges and the number of vertices where uh, the line segment and the faces also meets is also zero because you can see there is uh, a circle has no point in it okay it is just around our uh, around object so let's move on we have rectangular prism so as you can see it is a rec uh, rectangle it has a rectangle shape and a rectangular prism has six faces on it one two three and the one uh, behind four the one below five the one beside uh, the left one so six is ha it have it has six faces how about the edges it has 12 edges what are the edges the line segment were faces meet okay very good so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so uh you you must imagine uh to to uh, count the edges and the vertices also you must imagine also uh the behind of the fi solid figure so that uh example this one uh it has also uh edges below right so you will also count those you imagine it is a uh, uh, as is as if that you are holding it so you can count all the edges and the vertices and the vertices of a rectangular prism 
is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Uh, the vertices are the points where the edges meet. This one is the verti vertex. Vertex, 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 and the one behind it. Okay? So, we have number three, a cone, which is, uh, which, as you can see, has a shape of a triangle and a circle below. Right? So, it has a one curved surface. This is the one curved surface. Uh, I mean the one curve base and this is the one curve surface you can see so in all the face uh, of uh, a cone uh, is two one curve surface and one circular base the number of edges is zero okay and the number of vertices is just one let's go to number four we have the cylinder, okay? So, a cylinder has two circular bases, this one and this one, and one lateral curved surface. This is the one lateral, lateral curved surface. It has no edges, as you can see, because uh, uh, it is in a circle form so it will not form an edge okay and the number of vertices is also zero it has no point because it has no edges okay let's move on to square pyramid so a uh, square pyramid is uh, composed of four triangular faces one two the one behind three and four and then one square base this is the square base okay so in all it has five faces and then we have the number of edges is eight one two three four five six seven eight okay the number of vertices is five one two three four five okay so let's move on to number six solid figure we have cube and as you can see a cube is composed uh, of square uh, shapes right so this has six faces on it one two three the one uh, uh, behind uh, four and here five and below six the number of edges is 12 so the edges are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 the one below uh, I mean behind okay just imagine it as you uh, as if you are holding it so that you can count it better and then we have the number of vertices which are the points on this solid figures remember that one two three four and then the one below one two three four so uh, the total is eight and we have the last one which is a triangular prism the, the triangular prism has five faces on it it has also nine edges on it and it has six vertices on it so as you can see the plane figures ha have no thickness on it it is just uh, simply uh, this drawing like that while the solid figures has have I mean three dimensional shape so it has length width and height length width and height right the, uh, it has length width and height on it it has a thickness on it while the plane figures has length and width only it has no thickness on it so do not be confused uh, on this matter we can easily identify if a figure is a plane figure 
or a solid figure because uh, of the difference that solid figures have thickness on it or height or base while plain figures has only length and width so that's it for today's lesson about solid figures and its features i am hoping that you can easily now identify what's the difference between a plain figure and a solid figure and in your daily life uh, you can easily uh, uh, see what are the solid figures that that we have or that you are seeing uh, in your house in your school or even on television okay so uh, very good students and for those who are watching this video please uh, leave a like subscribe to my channel so that uh, you can uh, easily see all the new videos that I am uploading. Bye for today. Thank you so much and God bless you.